this. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, Non-invasive neurostimulation, that's our subject. And it's well and truly a new frontier for your trading mind, as I found out only in the last four weeks. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mercedes Oesterman Van Essen. I'm a trader and I'm a performance coach first and foremost. My website is Mental Strategies for Traders. Please make sure you read the risk disclosure on my website. The link is here. And um, now let's go straight medias in race here. Um, once in a while, and this is just one of those moments, you get introduced to something that well and truly rocks. And to me, this thing has completely blown me away with um, what it does. And I have to say, non-invasive neurostimulation per se is not new. It's been around for 50 years and we'll talk about this a little bit later. However, what is totally unique and groundbreaking, and the company, by the way, has got a patent on it, so you know nobody can make sort of cheap versions of it that don't work properly. It is well and truly unique in the speed at which this operates, and we will go into the details of this um, in a moment. So um, now, basically, what it does, the most outstanding feature of it is increased energy flow and that is something that pretty much everybody will notice pretty much straight away and this happens because um, the way the technology is set up um, it um, basically brings energy in through the feet um, up the legs through the center of the body um, through the autonomous nervous system into the brain stem into the mid brain and um, the midbrain holds very, very um, important um, pieces which basically um, make us function as human beings in every um, aspect of our lives. And um, um, the midbrain is the center for motion, it's the center for spatial awareness, and of course, the um, center for um, con anything related um, to consciousness. Um, so we've seen, um, and I have personally seen, brain scans with this technology and without it and I can personally attest for the amazing impact of this it's virtually you know boom you know just like this the brain goes into increased coherence and I have seen oh hundreds of um, brain maps um, of you know using different kind kind of things and you know there's a lot of stuff out there that works but not, as I said, with the speed with which um, this one works. So um, now, uh, basically, um, this neurotechnology can be worn, so you'll be wearing it all the time, and that in itself makes it totally unique and also um, has major, major impacts on a lasting um, change that ultimately goes into um, our DNA. So let's have a look at what we are looking at here. The secret actually is the trigeminal nerve. Now the trigeminal nerves, they come basically in three parts and we'll go into details of that in a moment. Now here you can see there is one part, there is another important part and these are also very important acupuncture points here and, and up here and across the eyebrow around the eyes by the side of the eyes and what you can't see on, on this image here it goes actually right into um, the inner ear as, as well so and, and these are also important areas which directly impact consciousness and i'm going to show you another image here where you can see a frontal image of the brain again underneath here you know there uh, is um, the, um, the jaws where the, the teeth, the pulpa of the teeth goes straight into the trigeminal nerve. And the pulpa of the teeth hold um, very important um, neurons to do with a belief, changing of, of beliefs. Um, ultimately, um, it's, it's an important part of neuroplasticity. Um, so then, as we look into this, and I'll explain that in a moment, the trigeminal nerves come up here by the nasal passages through the mucous membranes. They go behind the ears right into that area where the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, which sits right above um, the pineal gland, um, sit. Now, the um, pineal gland 
when it is activated, has got basically what it does. It, it operates at the speed beyond light. So it's incredibly fast. And if any of you here on today's call have the um, have experience with this, I mean, if you have meditated for a long time, you may have opened your pineal gland. And um, if you have done so, the pineal gland, basically what it does, it takes the information from the field, a non totally non-local and multidimensional, and trans transmute it into images. And these images are bright, crystal clear they are clearer than what you see in in reality uh, and, and with practice um, you hold these images you um, get amazing information it's, it, it's fascinating stuff actually really 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 fascinating stuff so let's look at the um there are different three different parts to to the trigeminal nerve and the research was conducted um, God, about 40 years ago or so by an you know, Australian doctor, um, uh, C.J. Griffin. And he came up with the um, then remarkable finding that when the trigeminal nerves in the face are relaxed, brain performance improves in the midbrain. And this incidentally is also true in meditation. And um, we can use specific um, meditation modalities which are aimed at certain parts of the trigeminal nerves and um, mainly what I use um, with my clients is the area where we consciously change beliefs and um, you know it, it works actually so, um, so, you, so you can already I hope begin to see why this technology has got far-reaching potential. So now let's look, I have to give you the, these details so that you see um, that the amazing claims we are going to make later on, scientifically proven by the way, you know, I'm not making this stuff up. So you have to bear with me through the science a bit here. Now the ophthalmic division is one of the um, sensory areas of the intramenal trigeminal nerve and it affects the scalp, the forehead, the upper parts of the sinuses, the upper eyelids and the cornea of the eye and the bridge of the nose. You could see that very well on the image of the blue brain um, I shared early on. So then the second part is the maxillary um, division and um, that transmits the um, sensory information from the lower eyelid, um, the associated mucous brains and the middle part of the sinuses, nasal ca captiv captivity and the middle part of the nose. You know, it goes through the cheeks, from the upper lip. Um, now here we are coming to the um, upper teeth, upper jaw, and the associated, associated mucous membranes, and the roof of the mouth. Now, the roof of the mouth is also a very important part when we come to do meditation and grounding, and it connects the um, lower chakra energies, the um, grounding ability of the body with the higher chakra energies and, and, the, and the higher selves, and, and goes um, creates the connection to what we also call the ka. Um, so again, very, very powerful stuff when that is activated. So, and the third part is actually the um, part that does um, affect both the um, sensory and the um, uh, motor functions of the body. Um, so it, um, the, um, it communicates sensory information to the outer part of the ear and into the inner ear, um, lower part of the mouth. and um, from the middle parts of the tongue. Again, this is very important in meditation and a connection to um, higher self and the teeth. We've already spoken about the importance of the teeth and the pulpa um, of the teeth going straight into the trigeminal nerve. Um, so then a lower lip, by the way, also holds important chakra points and, and so does the chin. So it stimulates the movement of the jaw muscles and um, yeah in the inner ear we've already said this now the jaw muscles when you lock your jaw it is akin to locking in everything you believe in and you are going into um, a um, sort of defensive um, position uh, also into fight or flight 
and a lot of people if, if you are aware of how you how your face mu muscles move um, I dare say I probably um, locked my jaw when I couldn't get the screen share to work you know I mean this is you know just uh, sort of uh, what we do the problem is we do it most of the time without our conscious awareness okay so right what is all this telling us so um, as I said um, before I've mentioned the chakra points when the trigeminal nerve is um, relaxed, it, it stimulates the energy flow through um, the major chakra points, um, but also there are lots of minor chakra points in, in the face and incidentally all over the body. And when these are stimulated and they are receiving more energy, we are literally um, creating what is um, also referred to as a um, clean and um, perfect channel for manifestation for communication first manifestation second um okay um perception and special vision um improving balance and and vision so now that is one of the very important um, effects when the trigeminal nerve is functioning as it should in a relaxed um, state now when you are balanced and a lot of us are not fully balanced and we are not walking fully balanced and only we've become so used to it um, and I, I'll share a personal experience with you with that in a moment you know we don't notice we see it as, as normal but it also affects our emotions directly so when the ears are the ear canals, the ear chakras are not working properly. That also affects balance. You know, there are major acupuncture points all around the earlobes and also in, inside the ear um, connecting to the major organs in the body. Um, so um, relaxed muscles around the jaw reduce fight and flight. And that, of course, means reducing anxiety and fear. I said this before. Um, in all this together, it's not rocket science to work out, will improve your meditation um, because brain coherence is increased with a relaxed trigeminal nerve and you are cutting down a lot of um, the um, induction period we have to go through in, in meditation. And sometimes I can tell you from my own meditation experience, and I've meditated um, using many different modalities for over 20 years. And sometimes you can sit there for a long time until you get into the right kind of state. And when I say long time, it can sometimes take over an hour and I know most people don't do it and, and give up and um, you know of course also it takes time. Um, now a relaxed body obviously goes into homeostasis and homeostasis ultimately is our natural state of being so when our beliefs are in alignment with our actions and our thinking, basically we are in homeostasis, which means we will use less energy um, when we are all over the place. Our energy, of course, also is all over the place, you see. So um, now when we have that extra energy, that extra energy can then obviously be used for things like increased creativity, vision, increased intuition, and rejuvenation. Uh, you know, it's um, aging, we won't go into that now, um, is, is a BS concept. BS stands for belief systems, by the way. So in a nutshell, what we are saying here, um, accurately, emphasis is on accurately stimulating the trigeminal nerve, beneficially impacts motion, balance, perception, consciousness, energy, breathing, brain coherence, and homeostasis. And the effect, obviously, is increased energy, focus, clarity of thinking, mood improvement, very, very important one, less reaction time, which, um, of course, can be very, very handy in trading, particularly in, in intraday trading if you are executing manually. Um, increased resilience against um, all sorts of environmental toxins, more about that later and that all adds up to faster recovery time better sleep and basically well you get more done in less time and here is an image 
yeah, I had to put that in, in here. Now, I mean, this is the average person. I know hard work, you know, you know, life is tough. Now, when we are in balance, you know, it's a much smoother ride, less resistance. The um, path of lesser resistance also is ironically a straighter path. And that may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but hey, life is non-linear in nature. So now here you may be wondering what we are looking at. And what we are looking at actually, this technology is woven into socks, into insoles and um, and, and the like, you know, they are also, this one here in particular is a padded insole which athletes use. I'll explain that a bit more in a moment. Now here underneath the sock is sort of like a rectangular um, woven area. And it looks, as you can see here in that enlarged image, a bit like this. And that directly stimulates the um, 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 neuroreceptors in the pad of your feet just behind the toes. Uh, that's that's how it works. Um, right. Um, so there has been done a lot of research about this. The company has been going for about 10 years. They spend the first four or five years researching how they could take what is effectively a, a well-known um, technology um, and use it in a way that it would improve our physical performance. That's how it started out. Initially, they um, were doing this just focusing on athletic performance. And to that effect, golf pros use it, Olympic athlete, athletes have been using it, I have to say, mainly in America and Canada, because the company is Canadian and they ship only to America and Canada and just started, just this month, started in the UK. So. If any of you who are on my mailing list, I know there are quite a few of you in Australia, if you're using it, contact me, you know, and um, it'll be a bit more expensive, but there are ways around it, you know, we can, can get this to you. Um, so the thing is this though, the athletic performance is just a very, very small part of this. And um, since we've had the um, technology in our hands, your, yours truly and one or two others have been putting this thing to the test. And you know, I won't tell you, you know, some of the outrageous things we have done, because what I wanted to know, how does this technology operate under extreme um, conditions? What effect does it have on the brain? That's what I wanted to know because as soon as I saw the science behind it, I knew straight away this is doing much more than it says on, on, on the box. Um, now, the other week I saw Dr. Mark de Brinkert who has brain mapped 6,000 people um, with and without the um, neurotechnology. And with every single one of them, he said, the, um, the brain scans, I, I um, had the privilege to see the, the other day, apparently every single one is the same. Um, without the technology, brain all over the place, depending obviously on the individual's condition. Um, with the technology, it goes boom, the brain increases coherence. And, and you can see on the um, brain um, scanner, the areas where the brain is too fast, you can see the color changes and um, you know the imagery of the brain areas which are too fast reduces, where the brain operates too slow, um, you know, that, that area reduces the um, um, monitor image where they are checking how the different parts of the brain are communicating totally, totally different. The um, areas where there is um, pain, a, a lot of people have um, chronic pain. Um, statistics show regularly, um, in, I think, what was the number? 97%, something like this. It's you know, overwhelmingly high. Don't quote me on the exact figure here, but 50% reduction in, in uh, uh, chronic pain. I mean, this is, I mean, this is, you know, really quite, quite extraordinary um, what has been found, but you know, there is more. So, um, you know, as we said, the impact virtually is immediate. There is a lag time and that could be perhaps how long it takes, you know, from 
you know, the information to travel through the cables and, and appear on the monitor. I mean, it's, um, you know, a couple of, couple of three, four seconds, some, something like that. It, it's really quite incredible. And I've seen um, other brain scans. I've seen um, this kind of brain mapping technology used on, on meditation, you know, the kind of meditation I teach my clients. And um, well, we know it works. You know, well, we know it works, but um, you know, obviously not that quickly. So um, one thing I want to say here straight away before anybody gets the wrong idea: lasting effects are not created by um, using this technology, wearing these socks for five minutes and then putting them away. It's not going to create it by wearing the socks for a day and putting them, them away. It's, I mean, we'll talk about this a bit more. It, it is something, yes, the impact can be measured immediate, immediately. However, in order to get lasting results, obviously there, there is more in, involved. You know, I just want to say this here straight away because I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Now, so first of all, my partner and I, um, tried out these mirror socks and um, we didn't say anything you know they arrived we put them on and uh, my partner is much much less sensitive um, than I am I um, yeah, I notice and, and feel everything basic, basically and it's in, in part you know the work I, I do with clients I can tune into my clients from miles away I can tune into their houses um, and uh, if I know whether there is electromagnetic um, radiation or, or not um, so um, and I've been doing this for a long long time actually you know so um, anyway so he noticed and I noticed independently, literally within you know a few moments of putting the socks on, there's sort of kind of you know well, best to describe it's like a tingling, you know, this sensation. I mean, and then you know after um, a few hours, suddenly think, oh wow, you know, I feel different. You know, my mood, something is different. You feel more um, clarity, and I. I have to say, you know, I thought, well, you know, my mind is on the whole quite clear. I mean, after all, I meditate regularly. Um, so this was quite an eye opener, I can tell you. And, and my partner, he um, found the same. Um, moving forward, he had different experiences um, from me and um, different experiences from, you know, sort of um, one or two other people who, who've been testing um, this with, with us. So, um, uh, one thing is absolutely clear to all of us now um, who've been testing this here. We know that the effect is cumulative. So the longer you wear them, more things happen. Um, and um, over time, of course, a new neurology is, is built. It, it cannot possibly be any other way. So and what happens, of course, since everybody is different, um, some people don't notice the impact straight away um, uh, others do it's it's depending on on what you need what your body needs first that is what gets first addressed and then as, as you wear it any long you know for longer and longer periods some um, uh, you know the um, the homeostasis um extends to all sorts of areas. Um, to me, I have to say the impact on consciousness directly, and I've seen it with my partner as well, it's quite amazing. Um, now, um, yeah, basically what we are saying here is of course this, you are what you repeatedly think and what you repeatedly do. You know, that's basically who you are. You are the sum total of your beliefs, conscious, and unconscious that's all you are you, know, you are an energy bubble made look um, physical and yet of course everybody thinks you know they are just physical when this is you know of course the biggest misperception out there and you know particularly those of you who understand what I mean by this um, now if, if you use this technology and work with the non-physical aspect of you, which is where the creation of our reality, of course, is, um, resides. Some um, amazing, amazing things um, can be done um, in accelerating um, lasting transformation, expansion of consciousness, lasting healing, and 
God knows what else. Um, now, meditation is a tool which I have used for um, over 20 years now. And um, so I've, I've studied how, what happens to the brain under meditation, and in particular, what I've um, termed guided transformational meditation. It is uh, what I teach my, to coaching clients and what we do in the Transformational Guided Meditation Academy. And um, now what happens there, what happens to the brain in transformational guided meditation, and what happens when wearing the socks is actually very similar. The difference perhaps is um, this, that when we um, use the, the guided form of transformational meditation, we are taking our creation uh, into our own hands. In other words, we are saying, right, okay, I want to work on whatever it may be consciously now. So the two together, incredibly powerful tool to um, speed up the manifestation of, um, shall we say, uh, new, new, more beneficial programs in, in, into your entire matrix. So, and that to me is the um, most, to, to me personally, is the most exciting um, thing, thing about it. And um, this is what, what I am using it from now on for, you know, for, you know in, in all my work. I mean, it's, it's gonna change completely what, what I am, am doing. And what really excites me is that I know that this technology has got the ability to transform everybody's life if they understand what they have in their hands and work with it and use it for, for, for the better. It is, you know, it, it is awesome. Um, okay, now, the other thing is neurostimulation, um, the socks improve mood. And that is, you know, really, I mean, I, I found that quite extraordinary because it, it really, um, it, it really does. You, you kind of, you know, you, you laugh more, you, you see the funny side of, of things. And hey, you know, sometimes in today's world, that isn't all that, that easy to see at times. So, um, and I noticed this, by the way, in my partner as well. And of course, when we can make light of something, that in itself is an incredibly powerful transformational catalyst. And because when you are in a happy mood, you know, you are open, you are in expansive um, modus operandi. When you are doing fear and anger and frustration, you cannot create. It's, it's as simple as that. You know, you are in fight or flight. You know, you're looking over your back. You are um, constantly waiting for the next shoe to drop. Um, you are jumping from one place to the next to the next. And um, your life doesn't work very well. Um, so um, now my partner has um, ADHD and um, had some brain problems, you know, when he had an accident 15 years ago. And um, so what I noticed in three weeks, his entire demeanor has become yeah, very, very much more um, responsive. And so that shows to me because he is so totally different from me. You couldn't meet two, two more different people actually. It shows me that this works for everybody and it should because let me just say this bit here because at the end of the day guys we are all the same um you know no matter of, of a color a race or what what have you the brains our brains work in the same way um we our bodies work in the same way um we all fall under the same laws of the universe there is not one one law for um, joe blogs and and another um law for Regina blocks or blogs or whatever. So um, the principles, what I'm saying here is the principle we are discussing, they work across the board, irrespective of what you are doing, irrespective of your challenges, be they mental, be they physical or both. So, okay, I just wanted to um, put that little bit in here. Now, we obviously know we're talking about mood improvement, of course, let's get back to this. We know from studies, and there have been countless studies done on this one, that um, happy people who have a good mood, um, which obviously is the same as being happy to, 
to a large degree. They are healthier, earn more money, and they have better relationships. Um, because basically everything is in flow. So it's, it's not rocket science to work that out. Now let's talk about the all important heart energy because the heart ultimately is the um, key, it's the hard drive of all our manifestation. And if you do not activate the heart energy correctly, I mean, it, it's a bit like getting in your car, wanting to drive your car without petrol. Or, you know, should I say, it's like um, going around wanting to hoover your house and um, the hoover isn't plugged in. It's as simple as that. So, you know, it's, it's no good, uh, in other words, what I'm saying is this. It's no good saying, yes, I'm going to do this and I'm going to sit in, in meditation and I'm going to say mantras or God knows what, whatever you might, might do, unless you are fully engaged in it. And fully engaged, meaning using the heart energy. Well, you know, nothing's going to happen. You might as well stop doing it, um, you know, get a bottle of champagne, you know, you'll, you'll probably be doing better, better doing that. I, I think you understand what I'm saying here. So, okay. Now the um, heart is magnetic and the brain is electric. And when the two are uh, together uh, in coherence, um, then amazing things can happen because the magnetic energy of the heart is 5,000 times stronger than that of the mind alone. And when the mind and the heart are together, the mind's um, power of creation increases by 100 times. And that in itself is actually quite extraordinary. Now, the problem we have today, everybody faces, to a larger or lesser degree. And I would say, again, we are all the same. Everybody faces the issue. It manifests itself for everybody in, in, in different ways because our sensitivities, of course, vary from person to person. And the problem I'm talking about here now is EMF, electromagnetic, man-made electromagnetic radiation from computers, from cell phones, from cell towers, 5G, etc., etc. They create chronic brain incoherence unless these energies are harmonized. They also lower immune function and um, negatively in impact heart energy. You know, heart rate variability is a measurement of how well you are, how resilient you are, and you know, much, much more. And EMF affects heart rate variability directly. So um, now when the effect is, when the heart and the brain are not aligned, your brain, which of basically functions like a GPS, cannot function. And I want to refer you to an experiment which was carried out in the 60s in the Max Planck Institute. Those of you who are on my mailing list, I shared that experiment in the last um, webinar we did, I don't know, six weeks or so ago, you know, whenever. Uh, maybe a bit longer, can't remember, but I explained that experiment in detail. It's a very, very important experiment to understand and to understand what, why, because what we are facing today um, and the solutions were very, very well um, um, researched in, in that experiment all those years ago. Um, now, the Vox um, technology um, increases inner harmony and balance, obviously, by putting the brain into increased coherence. I am not saying complete coherence. That's another differentiation. I just want to make that, you know, they are, they are varying um, degrees um, of, of coherence. But um, the effect is immediate on everybody. You, wherever you are starting out from, you go into increased coherence when um, using the Vox um, HPT, by the way, it stands for um, Human Performance Technology. Um, so um, now the um, harmony and balance uh, together, the ingredients increase proper grounding. When you are out of balance, you cannot ground properly. And um, when you are grounded, you are immediately reducing the negative impact from man-made electromagnetic fields. So, and that is 
in my opinion, one of the reasons why these talks, why these socks tested positively for um, heart rate uh, var variability. Um, now, one of the issues traders face, well, anybody who is in an office job, by the way, faces is that when you are sitting still, any toxic energies, be that EMF, be that geopathic um, stress, you know, these are um, negative um, earth, um, earth rays um, coming through from underneath the ground. Um, it makes it makes it worse when you're sitting still whilst you're moving around. Okay, it's not good, but it's not quite as bad. And hence, it is particularly dangerous, you know, all, all this toxic stuff at night when you're in bed asleep. Um, now, I've always had a very high electromagnetic um, field sensitivity. Um, and sitting in front of the computer for hours, you know, always drained me and has stopped me from trading many a time. And it's one of the reasons why I stopped a long time ago tra trading the American session, because I typically get up very, very early in the morning and, you know, come two o'clock my time. Well, you know, I'm just not interested anymore, you know, um, plus, you know, I can also think of better things to do with my, my time than watching you know, the markets, you know, go up and down, you know, 10 million times, you know, during the day. So, but I think, you know, that comes, you know, you do something for so long and, you know, you, you just, you, you move on and you do things in a different way. However, what I found since I've had the socks, um, I'm no longer so drained. And I can spend, which I often have to do, not for trading, but, but for other reasons, um, I have to spend seven plus hours in, in front of um, the, the computer. Um, you know, that is working with clients, uh, you know, writing, um, you know, do, doing videos, you know, and, and God knows what else. I mean, you, you know, you all know what it's like. So, and I mean, that to me was just an absolute gift. I mean, I can easily say I have perhaps between easily two extra hours in the day, maybe three hours a day. It's, it's quite extraordinary. And, and I need, need um, to sleep less. And I mean, I found ever since I've meditated, I often meditate in the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning, um, you know, and then I go back to sleep afterwards. And I mean, six hours sleep is, you know, normally, you know, it's, you know, I don't need more than that, you know, it's fine. So with this here, I mean, you need even less. I mean, you know, this stuff, I mean, honestly, it, it rocks. It, it really rocks. And, um, you know, I'm not making this up. Um, there are, by the way, a lot of testimonials on, on the website, um, not on my website, on, on the internet about this, but we'll come to that later. So now um, the grounding and balancing effect of the socks and the insoles, um, will definitely, I think we can very clearly say this, it'll reduce the impact of EMF. And I want to show you something here. Now, this is an image. I mean, that's what your brain and your entire body is like when you are exposed to electromagnetic radiation. It's literally like having your hands on an electric fence all, all day long. Um, and people don't realize it because they, they are so immersed in their habitual state of being, you know, it's normal. And, you know, people walking around with their mobile phones on, on their e ears all, all day long, um, we are in permanent brain incoherence. And that leads to chronic anxiety and, and fear and, and lack of focus, which is a, um, an issue of um, the world today. Um, so the inability to change, having clear vision, sticking to your plan, your trading plan in particular, um, low immune function, low energy are all caused by nothing else but chronic brain incoherence. There is nothing else. That is the root cause, full stop period. Um, so it's, it's, as we said, caused by environmental um, toxins. And... Um, as I've already said, my partner and I, we both found dramatic improvements when using the um, technology. Um, now, what really excites me is, you know, that I know when this technology is used in conjunction with other consciousness um, uh, development tools, um, the, the Vox um, technology will act 
is a manifestation accelerator. It cannot be any, any other way because we know when two things of a like mind, of a like energy come together, the impact of that energy doesn't double. No, it compounds many, many, many times, many, many times. And that is to me the real gift and um, it, it's the gift that keeps on, on giving, if you like. Um, so um, what can I tell you? It's changing the way I am, am working. Um, so here, the importance of grounding for brain coherence and homeostasis. Now, our bodies, when everything is fine, are in a natural permanent state of homeostasis. You know, that is, you know, when everything is balanced and things will flow to you easily and you have these synchronicities, um, you do not have to, to struggle. Yes, I mean, things happen around you. I'm talking about your own field, your own inner being. You are in a state of harmony, which you will naturally maintain. And you have a natural resilience to all these toxins, which we are bombarded with around us. And then even if, if you have in your home, you know, as I have, I, I've got a, a, a moving um, um, geometric um, form in, in my house, which um, affects my house and, and my garden and, and beyond um, a beautiful thing. Um, but not everybody has this. Uh, besides, I still have got, got to get into my car and go and do the shopping and, um, you know, get on the train and go to London or what have you, you see. So we cannot get away from it. This is what I'm saying. You know, EMF is absolutely everywhere. And um, we've already said, you know, Wi-Fi towers, there is half, there is when, 5G, a danger to um, um, mankind, basically. Um, what it what is doing is this: it is destroying the negative ions in our atmosphere, and it's poisoning the ground. And um, we cannot live without negative ions. Think of it as a life force. So um, we have lost the um, natural effects um, of grounding our, ourselves um, because of this technology. The um, Russian Space Observatory um, did a study um, a few years ago, this about three or four years ago, um, because they are uh, measuring the Schumann wave everywhere. And they found there are in Russia, only there was one place where there was no EMF. Here rests my case on this subject. And here you can see this is not a real, well, the photograph is real, but um, they have overlaid it, you know, these um, um, EMF rays. They are lateral waves and they just go out. They are permanent. Once they, these waves are out there, they never go away. So even when you switch your mobile phone off, you know, what, what, what is out there, it stays there. I mean, you know, this is basically what we are doing. So we, what I'm saying is this, you cannot, get rid of EMF, it's impossible. But what you can do is you can harmonize it. So um, the um, thing is, uh, if we want to protect ourselves, if we want to um, create um, a healthier environment for us, um, for the world at large, um, we have to use um, harmonizing tools. And this is of course what this, um, um, the NeuroSoc technology is all about. Um, now, um, if we can ground ourselves, um, we will optimize brain function. You know, that, that's um, one thing. And um, when we are um, properly grounded, our brain is functioning opti um, in an optimal manner, we are manifesting faster. Okay. So, um, and um, when you are, I just say this here again, we've said it in one or two ways in a roundabout way. Um, when you tap into an anxiety driven in environmental field, which at the moment is all around it. I mean, you know, we've had all, all this Brexit nonsense going on. I mean, you know, America is, you know, very challenged with polarities at the moment. So it's tough to stay out of it unless you've had that mental training, which 
and you know, even if you had the mental training, um, as, as I have had, um, it's still sometimes tough, you know, we get triggered. So, um, you know, we can all do with uh, tools that help us to um, remain immune to these energies um, that, that are all, all around us. Now, um, a, a friend of mine, um, uh, Jeremy Jones, he is a certified um, biogeometry um, practitioner, and he's tested the socks for BG3. Now, BG3 is the energy that was um, identified by Dr. Ibrahim Karim as the, um, well, it's basically the, the life force energy. Now, the socks give that off, so what can I tell you? Here rests my case. Didn't surprise me. Um, um you know but it's nice to have um confirmation um using you know a, a very different form of, of testing here so you know with all that said you know we can say that apart from all the other amazing benefits this technology is offering us um the um socks will definitely harmonize emf and increase our ability to ground ourselves. Um, so to my way of thinking, you know, that is, you know, one reason, you know, why you know, perhaps everybody ought, ought, to, ought to have them. Now let's talk about experience a little bit here. So um, within an hour, both my partner and I noticed a marked shift in, positive shift in mood. And um, as I've already told you, my um, increase in, in productivity was amazing. My partner became much friendlier and um, I noticed my dream ability increased tremendously. And I used to suffer from a mild form of vertigo, which um, you know, caused me not mega problems because I had it all my life, but I noticed um, the other day suddenly where I normally feel that you know, the sense of slight trepidation, um, gone, wasn't there completely gone. So, um, yeah, and then in that moment, you know, I realized that it's directly linked to an eye problem I had, which I had all my life. So, um, you know, I'm looking at the time here and you know, we are coming to the end here um, very, um, very soon anyway. Um, so, um, adjustment period. Need to talk about this because everybody is different. Now, during the first few days um, of wearing the socks, um, you know, I'm naturally active and, you know, my natural state of being is not sitting down all the time. You know, I like to do things, you know, I'm much happier going out um, in, in the garden, you know, whatever it may be. I like to do things. Um, so hence, it's always been a challenge for me to sit in front of the computer for hours on end. Um, now, um, but anyway, I, um, my mind went an overdrive. I was, I had visions of my future, I, um, what I wanted to do, and, um, and it all happened at once. So I couldn't meditate probably for about five days properly. But I, I realized what was going on. My, my body and mind were adjusting. And then and, uh, and from day seven onwards, you know, I felt normal again. And um, a, a trading client of mine who has also had the socks, he was the opposite. He didn't feel anything at all for a week. You know, and then he suddenly said, wow, I got so much energy. This is amazing, you know, and then he said, well, yeah, these socks, I wouldn't be without them. They feel so good. There is no sock like it. So why am I telling you this? Because, you know, everybody will have a different experience. Um, so for me, we talked about this before. Meditation has become, you know, it's, it, it does help with meditation. It's easier. My um, chakra alignment meditation, that goes vroomf you know, stuff like this, it literally takes, you know, a couple of minutes or so, probably because the chakras don't need aligning, you know, well, you know, that's the thing. Um, so, um, and I'm at the moment, you know, doing some work on, on an eye problem I've had all my life. Um, so I've noticed some in, uh, improvement, you know, we're not there yet, but um, improvement, so we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, the impact on trading, of course, I think it's pretty clear by now um, what it does, you know, because it has got a di direct impact on cognitive function. And I've already mentioned to you 
my partner had this, um, you know, a big problem actually with um, concentration and, um, you know, other issues from a head, inj a head injury he had 15 years ago. Um, and um, so his cognitive awareness in the last three weeks since he says had the socks had dramatically improved and um, you know, so we will see um, what, what else is, is going to be possible because you see this is an ongoing thing. Three weeks with this is nothing. You know, we'd, I'd like to have this conversation again with you all in six months time and see what, what's happened. Um, now, uh, by the way, when you are feeling you know, energetic, greater self-expectance is a natural byproduct of that because we um, tend to, when we are stressed, we go into resistance and resistance stops you from manifesting. It keeps you stuck, literally stuck where you are. Um, now, again, let me emphasize, everybody is different. What I am sharing with you, you may have a different experience. So the thing is here, you make it your own and you go with the flow. So it's very important here. Don't um, put any expectations on it that it has got to be in such a way and if it's not therefore it does not work. This is not as it is. I've said early on the uni universe is not a linear. Yes we all have to abide by the same rules but we are also different. So okay I better be very quick here now because I've um, talked a little bit too long. So long impact on the neurology is, in a nutshell, it's lasting. And I've also had this, you know, from the horse's mouth, I had confirmation from uh, Dr. Mark um, De De Brinkert, who has done 6,000 um, brain map mapping scans on this. You know, it will become lasting. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is what I am working with my coaching clients on, of course, you know, where we do very specific work on specific issues, or whatever they, they may be, mental, physical, both. Um, usually they are both, or quite often they are both. So, um, you know, to really speed that impact up. Purchasing the socks, you can do there. There is a link which probably um, um, is, is out there where you can see. And, um, you can also go to my website in the non-invasive neuro um, stimulation section. I've written a little bit about what it is and at the bottom is a link that takes you directly to the order page. And now finally, um, so um, we are doing special offer. Where is it? Let's just um, go down here. Yes, so I, I've um, done a special offer for you here, which um, basically includes the, um, you know, the first 10 people who buy this, um, my trading psychology course, which is a self-directed trading psychology course, which um, basically deals with um, the 15 most common problems we all have. They, they are audios. Then there is one section where we talk about universal laws. It's something like, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40 pages or something like this where explain the universal laws that we all um, you know fall under and how they apply to your trading in particular and then finally there is a um, um, one to one um, one on one coaching coaching session um, which is a value of three hundred and fifty dollars um, which is the cost of one hour one hour um, one on one coaching session with me. So, um, you know, here it is. Um, the total value of that is 1619. And, um, you know, you buy it for $499. Um, if you go to my website on the product page, it's the um, fourth product down. Um, and I think we are coming to um, the um, and That's expl explanation of the course. Um, finally, my address. And um, that brings me to the end of my presentation. And very quickly, a big thank you to um, David and Anka for putting this, um, you know, wonderful um, trader um, for um, seminar together. Thank you so much, uh, Mercedes, first for accepting our invitation and uh, for providing such amazing information.